All right, everybody. Game Cooker US Rocks VR here. Um, I am back in doing the Blue Protocol benchmark. I am going to redo the RTX 2080 Ti um, because I'm using my capture card now, so the video will be like much better quality, hopefully. Um, therefore, um, I'm going to do 1080p, 1440, and um, 4K, or 150% scale. So, I found out that if you change the display settings here, right, and you go, you, you switch it to 1080p, right, then, yeah, I think you got to restart the application now. Um, so, just so you see, here's the 2080 Ti here. And the 9900K running at 5 gigahertz. I don't think it'll change on the... Oh, it did. It changed like right on the fly. That's interesting. Okay, so if you change your desktop to 1080p, if you happen to have a 1440p monitor or 4K, then you'll be able to run the benchmark in full screen. But it still doesn't give you options to do 4K or 1440, unfortunately. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just put this at 100. I'm just going to put it at high. So, I got a 1080p, and I'm going to put everything maxed out on 4. So, it's going to be at the extreme settings. So, you have to manually set everything to 4. Okay, so I'm going to do 1080 key, 1080p maxed out at 4 at 100% resolution scale. Okay? So I'm not going to waste any time here. We're just going to run through these benchmarks as quick as we can and see what we get. We still should do pretty well at 1080p, <clears throat> even at these high extreme settings or whatever you want to say. So you can see we're already like well above 100 frames right off the bat. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is going to have a problem running at 1080p at high frame rates. So the 2080 Ti is still an exceptional card. Obviously this isn't Metro Exodus or something like that, but but even at that game it'll still run Metro will it will still you know kill it at 1080p even with ray tracing. But, yeah, this is very good. We're not even going below 100 frames per second, so... It'll run this game with a breeze. Like a breeze! I did turn the music off, so so we're already near 10,000 now, so which is like the excellent uh, If fifty dollars is not let me know what you're willing to let it go for if fifty dollars is not acceptable. I won't bug you any more about it. If you want to make the deal, just get back to me. Have a good day.
Wow. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm talking into the microphone. I was just trying to uh, buy a, a, a GPU off somebody. So, I was trying to negotiate. Wow, we're up to 18,000 already. Ooh. <clears throat> This is killing it. Yeah, this is like having no issues at all running this game. <clears throat> None. Twenty thousand sixteen. Look at that. Nice. And it's getting a hundred and eighty seven frames per second in this screen, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> so I just have to wait until uh um you know. All right. Um, um, I'm still talking into the microphone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on. This thing, they need to have like an escape button so you can get out of the screen. Just whatever, skip through the video till you get to the next part here. Crazy. All right, so... Uh, Let's go to the next resolution now. Let's switch. But let me see if I can switch the display back up to 1440. And it seems to be doing pretty good in my OBS here. So, all right, great. Very good. Okay, so hopefully it's recording properly. All right, so let's get on to 1440. As you can see, I switched it and it's going to full screen here, but it doesn't give you any options there. So with 1440, um, we could probably still keep it at this setting. So let's try, let's try this with all fours and see how much of a hit it takes. As far as the frame rate goes, I don't care about the overall score, but uh, the frame rate, right? So we'll keep it at this, this extreme setting here because I think it should be able to handle it enough so if the frame rates are not acceptable to you in this video here just turn it down all turn all these numbers down here below you can keep this one and this one for turn all these down to three all right so we're at extreme again we're going to keep it at extreme what i call extreme because they don't let you put it at four i don't know why it's kind of weird like their high is their their highest setting is like all threes. So yeah, so here it's dropping below ninety, so it's working a little harder. But here it's still over a hundred, so we should be good. We'll definitely be getting over like seventy frames per second, probably most of the game, if not all of it. And the game looks good. Yeah, so we're 80 frames per second here, 90. So we're we're gonna do just fine. So this can this can pretty much handle the game at 1440 extreme as well. Hmm. 
but I'm curious to see what it gets like when you're doing those battle scenes. See if it drops down below 60. Because here there isn't really much going on. I mean, there isn't a lot of people, you know. That city scene, though, usually drops. <clears throat> so here we can see it's, it's in the 60s now. Let's see if it drops below 60 at any point. Especially when that meteorite comes down. Yeah, so it went into the 50s. Just when that meteorite hit the ground, so... That's probably your worst case scenario, which you're probably hardly ever going to see. So here it's 67. So I would say if you're in the woods, this is that's probably what you're going to get in the woods, like upper 60s. So that's that's great. We're already over 10,000. <clears> Game looks really good. You know, at the max settings, it looks pretty good. It's not a bad looking game at all. Even though it's cartoony. But it has pretty nice shadowing and everything. So that, that makes the game look that much better. So. I don't like cartoony too much. But, you know. If you got nice shadowing and everything in there, then... I can tolerate it. Pretty good. I'm impressed. Killing it. 14,426. So, still getting, you know, well, you know, we're still getting 100 frames per second, you know, pretty often. So, that's pretty nice. I mean, on this screen, obviously, it's 129, but I don't know what this screen really represents as far as the rest of the game. <coughs> Uh, in that one wooded area, it was like 67, so maybe if you're in the woods with a lot of grass and stuff, you might drop down to like 70 or less, you know, depending. Um, that seems to be where, you know, that big meteor scene and, and the scene where those, uh, whatever, pig, the pig or animal was grazing uh, seems to be where you're going to have a lot of hit. So, all right, let's do 4K. Um, again, I'm not sure. They should give you, like, a way to exit out of here. Alright, so let's go to 4K. Or at least what I think is 4K. If it's not 4K, let me know. 150% resolution scale. And I'm going to turn all the... Uh, I'm going to leave the draw distance on 4. And I'm going to turn everything else down to 3. Because I think... We can probably get away with three. Now, the, this is textures here, I think. We probably could keep that up to four. Let me just check my translator here. Um,
let me just check my translator here. Um, where are we at here? Sorry. Yeah, let me just check this real quick. All right, so. So, all right, so here we go. Okay, so the textures is the third one up. So I was wrong. So the bottom one is grass. This is effect, textures, shadows, post-processing, anti-aliasing, uh, distance. So we could probably keep textures up to four because the shadowing, you know, that usually kind of kills the performance a little. So let us, uh, let's go ahead and run this. So we're at like basically, you know, high to extreme settings. So let's run this benchmark, see what we get. All right, so we're still doing pretty good here. Wow. <clears throat> I'm thinking we could probably do extreme and as well, but to get the most, I mean, this is still gonna look fantastic. You don't really need to put everything up. And plus, if you got the textures already up high, the highest, then that's really all that's gonna matter. I mean, the shadowing, maybe. Might want to turn that up to the max. Because to me, textures and shadows, that's really what makes the game look good. You know, not the... Uh, I mean, the anti-aliasing helps, but at 4K, I mean, you don't really need much anti-aliasing. 3 is kind of high. You know, I probably could have turned that down lower. <clears throat> But yeah, this it looks like this is going to do just fine. We'll see how many times it dips below 60 here. I mean, it's doing... <clears throat> there, I went down to 53 on the Meteor, so... This thing isn't even breaking a sweat. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're already at 10,000, over, over 11,000 now. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. 2080 Ti. It's going to be able to play at all resolutions. I wish I could, like, test out 8K. <laughs> that would be interesting, wouldn't it? I could make an 8K resolution, you know?
Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's doing better at 4K than it was at 1440. I guess because of the bottlenecking or something? I'm not sure why the, uh, what happened with the, uh, MSI Afterburner. It's not showing the GPU now. It's very weird. I don't understand. Yeah, so I mean, it did better at 4K than it did at 1440. So I mean, this is, <laughs> it's not even, it must have been slightly CPU bound the other way. Yeah, this is not even a problem. I mean, look at that. Anyway, so there you go, RTX 2080 Ti, still a beast. Was totally worth the money. It's still going strong. All right, everybody. Peace. Take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, sub, and all that good stuff. All right? And share. Bye.